What's that? You got the job interview? That's awesome! I knew you could do it! Wait, what's that? You're worried about the swab drug test? Relax. You're in good hands. I'm Charles Cannon, the People's Drug Testing Consultant, and here on Drug Talk TV, we're going to give you four tips on how you can have peace of mind for saliva drug testing. Today I will cover the common uses of saliva drug testing, the types of drugs tested, how long those drugs can be tested for, and potential methods that can help you pass the test. All of this is important to know because you may not even need to worry about the drug test at all. First, the common uses. Many employers are switching to saliva drug testing to save money not only on collections but on testing costs. By doing so, they can still save money on their insurance costs for workers' comp and qualify as a drug-free workplace. Now most employers will test for pre-employment, but they'll also test for random or post-accident. I will cover those in later videos, so click below to subscribe to my channel and you'll hear about those videos as soon as they come out. In this video, I'm only going to focus on pre-employment testing. This is important because most of the time when you're doing a pre-employment test, you know when your job interview is going to be and with oral fluid drug testing, they're probably going to do that drug test at your interview. Now you may be wondering what types of drugs are tested for. The most common drug test panel for an oral fluid is a six panel test. This will include methamphetamines with ecstasy, amphetamines, THC, PCP, opiates, and cocaine. Now there is some good news about oral fluid drug testing. The detection time is actually shorter and when it comes to methamphetamines and ecstasy, for example, it's only two to four days. Opiates and PCP are both two to three days. Cocaine is one to two days and THC is only 12 to 24 hours. Now you may be wondering, hey, that's great, but what do I do if I have a drug test coming up? Step number one, stop doing drugs. I mean, seriously, if you can't abstain from doing drugs for a few days before your job interview, then the tips I'm going to share with you, they're just not going to help. Okay, so now you want to know step number two. Brush your teeth and rinse and gargle at least seven to ten times a day before the drug test. If you can, rinse and gargle with hydrogen peroxide. It works even better. We don't have a drug test tomorrow. <laughs> Don't make them laugh. <laughs> step number three. Try to boost your metabolism. You can work out quite a bit in the days leading up to the drug test, but do not work out the day of the drug test. And also drink lots of water. This will also flush your system. All right, this is it. Last number, step number four. This one might be a little bit tricky. If you can keep a penny in your mouth while doing the oral fluid drug test, it will help you salivate more, and it may dilute the specimen enough that you'll pass the drug test. Again, this may be difficult for most because a lot of collectors will actually inspect your mouth ah, before they give you the swab to put in there to collect your specimen. So there you have it. The most common types of saliva drug testing, what types of drugs are going to test for, how long those drugs are testable for, and several potential methods that will help you pass the test. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've learned something, and from now on, you can just click below and subscribe to my channel for all kinds of new educational videos about drug testing that I'm going to be posting in the coming weeks. Thank you for making this awesome. The pink shirt would be even better. Oh, oh, that, that, that would be. Pretty, pretty oh, that'd be pretty. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You ready? What? I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Saliva drug testing. Gross. Audio.